I am Raghu Sinha from Allahabad. I used to teach in the University of Allahabad. I am a psychologist by profession and a bird watcher and bird photographer by hobby. Birding in India or in anywhere in the world is a great hobby and one of the fastest growing hobbies in the world. Birding is not about only seeing birds but knowing them and knowing yourself. The patience that it requires, the disappointment that it requires, the effort of love that it requires, that's what makes birding a great hobby. It's very good for mental health. As a psychologist, I can vouch for that. I've been to a, almost uh, every nook and corner of the country for bird watching. And I think that's the biggest help uh, which you get uh, because of birding, because normally you don't visit these places. Who would actually go to, you know, um, uh, Sela Pass, you know, um, uh, in Arunachal, right? So, uh, if you are birding, then of course you not only go to Sela Pass, you spend a lot of time, you know, to look around and look for birds. So, I think that's the beauty of birding. There are so many stories. And this is a story of an old lady in France who was d diagnosed as terminally ill with cancer. And she took bird watching. And she lived for another 14 or 15 years. She ended up seeing more than 11,000 birds out of approximately 14,000 birds in the world. And I'm not saying that it's a cure to cancer, but it is a way of life. And that way of life enriches you and allows you to see how insignificant your own suffering is and also allows you to see how significant the beauty outside is. Me and some of my clients from Ahmedabad are here for bird photography. We have come to see the great tundra swan, which have visited the Kashmir Valley for the first time. From Ahmedabad, a young boy called Madhav Murthy. He's a class 9th grade student and an avid birder and a very good photographer. I have got him here so that he can share his experiences with the young boys and girls of the villages surrounding Srinagar so that they take some inspiration from him and I hope one day they become good birders and maybe one or two of them could take up bird photography as a profession or a hobby. It's quite cold so today in fact it was around minus 12 in the morning and we left at around 7.30 to photograph the Pine buntings and the Yellowhammer here in Hoketsa uh, Lake, and uh, it's quite cool, but I think it's worth going out in the cold and photographing these rare birds. It's always a pleasure coming back here and again and again uh, because of two reasons. I love the climate over here. It is cold and nice compared to the 47 degrees that we suffer uh, most of the year in Delhi and surrounding areas, NCR. And I'm also uh, very happy to meet uh, people over here. They are very, very simple, very honest and very caring. Hospitality is of a completely different level altogether in Kashmir. Six, seven years back, if you say uh, somebody has seen uh, uh, Kashmir Natach, uh, I think it will uh, make headlines. But now, you know, today morning I said I want to see Kashmir Natach to Irfan Bhai. And in front of I just laughed, he said, oh, it's so easy. <laughs> so that's the big difference, you know, how the birding has, uh, you know, kind of uh, happened. And I think uh, the way at least I look at it, you need uh, one guy who just makes all the difference. And uh, I think uh, uh, when this Kashmir uh, bird club was formed by Irfan Bhai, I think that was a big change. And what happened that, you know, um, he identified uh, young youths, you know, which is, around the, uh, you know, all these important bird areas uh, uh, in Srinagar and around Srinagar. So that uh, basically ensured that these, uh, uh, you know, birders, the young birders, you know, they are coming to one area again and again because they are living in the vicinity. And uh, fundamentally they are scanning uh, and looking at every single bird uh, throughout the year. And that's exactly, you know, is the reason that in last two years, there are so many birds, uh, so many in fact, rare species which has been reported uh, from Srinagar and around Srinagar. Uh, I am Irfan Jilani. I uh, am a founder member of Birds of Kashmir. Birds of Kashmir is actually a birding club 
that was started in the year 2020 when uh, covid 19 lockdown was imposed all over the world and we started a concept in kashmir uh, where we encouraged people to go to their balconies and record any bird species that visits their balconies and surroundings when covid 19 lockdown was announced so we were busy on the social media and we put a theme on a social media group that birds from my balcony or birds from my window so during that time i observed almost 35 plus species of birds bird species from my window birds are not only present in the forests in the mountains we have been surrounded by the bird diversity in the times of crisis where people were getting depressed by sitting idle at home they were given a platform where uh, there was something to share there was something to explore and slowly and gradually uh, the family grew and we have we are now right now we have like uh, more than 7000 members to it and we have expanded its operations and we have included uh, all birders that are uh, there in kashmir himalaya it's not sufficient that i go and photograph birds in kashmir but i must inspire and at least give also an occupation to the youth of kashmir and one of the greatest occupations which is rising all over the world is a bird guide uh people would like to come to kashmir want to see birds but they can't just see it like without the help of a guide and if you have trained guides in kashmir i can assure you that the traffic and the tourism for birding in kashmir would increase there is a large scope where uh, birding bird tourism can be introduced in a, on a large scale in in jammu and kashmir especially we have the species that are not found elsewhere in the subcontinent especially in india we have species like tawny owl we have orange bill finches kashmir nuthatch kashmir nutcracker so many of them actually so this should be channelized again and we are ready to cooperate with the government with the wildlife department to provide uh, necessary training to the local youth we can act as bird guides actually and a new realm of uh, bird tourism starts in jammu and kashmir kashmir is one of the best place to do birding i can give a long list of birds that's not the important what is important is the opportunity that it provides and the amount of interaction that you have not only with birds but people who show you birds people who know about birds people who have lived their life on birds you will come to see all of them and as far as the government is concerned the government can very easily promote birding out here if there are more birding guides there would be more people and rough estimate is about 1100 crores is the birding business in india to conserve the uh, our mountain ecology and to guarantee the local livelihood the bird tourism is one of the options uh, we opted and we convinced the government Uh, especially uh, tourism department to have this bird tourism uh, that is why the bok is documenting exploring unexplored areas uh, for this tourism belgaum was known as birders paradise and uh, it is a good place ek bird tourism ko bhi uh, ke naya avenue khulega hamara bird tourism ka and wahan ke logo ko uh, wahan ke youngsters ko as bird guides uh, train kiya jaye taki Uh, they can take the tourists for uh, birding expeditions and uh, to sight some uh, birds kyunki zyada kuch nahi hai pelgam mein zyada normal wo jo uh, sight seeing ke liye jaate hain other than that uh, kuch aur nahi hai but uh, birding can be a good avenue there in pelgam uh, there are many places so we have three examples before us one is pelgam sonamarg and gulmarg we have seen we lost 80% water we lost flora and fauna and that is why the bird tourism is necessary and the the birders wildlifers they are more responsible uh, to and sensitized uh, towards environment i must tell you a story about uh, salam ali uh, he was a little hard of hearing 
uh, towards the end of his life and a press wala asked him uh, a question and Salim Ali says can you repeat it I didn't hear you can you speak a little louder the press wala asked a question again and Salim Ali says I am not too sure I can't hear your question he was about to ask for the third time and Salim Ali says wait wait there is a barbet calling somewhere Salim Ali could hear the barbet but could not hear the sounds of the question that is because birding helps you to relate to nature. It is here that the great poet said that if your eyes can hear and ears can see, then you become a birder. Because in birding, you learn how to transfer your sensibilities. You can hear a sound and see colors. You can see colors and hear a sound. So the eye starts hearing and the years start seeing and that makes for a very healthy life jc maine swans ki photo upload ki hai apne group mein to mujhe bahut sari fan request aayi unme unme kuch international birders bhi the jinhone bahut jagah pe bahut countryon mein birding ki hai to unme se ek aaya tha sarvandeep sir अपने ग्रुप के साथ यहाँ पे आया था तो जैसे ही उसने उसने देखा यहाँ पे स्वयं से वो बहुत बहुत खुश हुआ था उस टाइम उसने उसको कभी नहीं देखा था यानी कि उसने ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड स्पीशीज कावर किए थे फॉर दैट मैटर वी हैव गिवन वन बायनोकुलर टू मिस्टर रियान सो दैट बर्ड्स यू कैन सी बर्ड्स मोर क्लोजली because birds are quite far away in the wetland area our focus is not just bird photography and all we are there for conserving bird habitats birds and then uh, build a community that cares about nature that cares about the birds we have to be responsible towards mountain ecology and environment at large we have to conserve our environment our forest our wildlife our bird life our herbal life for the future as our ancestors conserved for us and that is why we are enjoying birding is a way of traveling to yourself and as a psychologist i would say that that passion to travel outwards to yourself and to realize the beauty of nature is all life is about life is about aesthetics about beauty about finding yourself about losing yourself wandering and wandering ghumo aur socho yahi to duniya hai aur kya hai